It was a huge day here at the uh, Kennedy Space Center for Elon Musk and his company, SpaceX. Thousands of people crowded the area for what was billed as an historic launch, the first test flight of the Falcon Heavy rocket. And no one left disappointed. And of course, this is billed as the most powerful rocket in the world now, the Falcon Heavy. Uh, and it can lift payloads both into low Earth orbit and go on to the moon and perhaps one day on to Mars, not just with cargo, but with humans. And at a greatly reduced cost, that is what Elon Musk has been striving to do, bring down the cost of flying into space. And how he does that? Reusable boosters. There were three of these core boosters, one center and two attached to the Falcon Heavy. Two of them returned here to the Kennedy Space Center, successful landings, and a land are supposed to land offshore uh, on a barge. Now, so from here, where do they go? Well, after this Falcon Heavy success, down the road, it looks like by the end of this year, Elon Musk and SpaceX will try to fly unmanned the first crewed Dragon spacecraft. That's crewed because eventually it will carry astronauts to the International Space Station. It will be another huge success if they can get that off the ground and perhaps even fly with astronauts before the end of the year. So a spectacular day here at the Kennedy Space Center and Elon Musk's cherry red roadster, which was up in the fairing, is now on its way into deep space and eventually will be orbiting the sun. I'm John Zarella, CGTN America at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.